in today's maelstrom of lore it's like the genre of warhammer is you can go to anyone who knows nothing about it and be like god emperor of mankind they might actually kind of know that's like a, as well as why would we be automatically drawn to space frames yeah. as, as humanity is that what you're suggesting and also go chain sword assault marine <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> so many things have chain sword <laughs> this is the maelstrom of lore Noob hammer for space marines. Let's dive right into this. And this is just for fun because, you know, for those of us who are brand new to 40K, let's put our minds there for a moment. Okay. Yeah. If you were, let, let's say I'm a kid in a store, I'm 10 years old. Okay. And, uh, you know, uh, that was awesome, Steve, by the way. Yeah. Hi. Hi. That's, uh, oh, no, this side. Yeah. That's her. Ah! That, <laughs> it's no, you don't. You're going to be a brat the whole time about it. I know it. Let's say for space marines. Okay. It, it, explain it to me in 30 seconds like I've never heard of it before ever that I could actually understand it after 30 seconds. I'm just a normal dude in a gaming store. Oh, what's that? How would you say that? Josh, how would you say that? Um, okay, well, they are the easiest to paint guys that are in every starter set, but also when we're talking about what they're, they're, they're the super soldiers on the tabletop. They're the, the big guys in armor that everybody collects. Sure. There you go go with like uh if they like each one of these guys could take 10 dudes on their own before they go down kind of a thing trained to, they live really long lives they train their entire lives they live to fight fight to live i don't know <laughs> how would you say matt simple how would you say the noob Forty thousand years in the future we have found a way to genetically enhance humans so that they're eight to nine feet tall and individually our armies yeah each one encased in ceramite power armor, strong enough to take What's any ceramite? type of am ammunition. <laughs> What's it's, it's a futuristic, awesome thing, all right? <laughs> and they walk around the battlefield. They know no fear, and they eradicate every enemy of the Imperium. And we love them. That's how I would describe them. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah, I like that. Because uh, it's you're kind of thematic. You know, it's fun. You know, there's a little thing, a few things in there like, okay, you know, Imperium and, you know, ceramite, but... That adds, you can, I think you can have a little bit of that. If I say Imperium of Man, you know what I'm talking it's about. It's like, oh, that sounds like this whole, like, we're the good guys. That's the one yeah. thing that kind of transcends, uh, like, the genre of Warhammer is you can go to anyone who knows nothing about it and be like, God, Emperor of Mankind. They might actually kind of know. That's like, like a, a, yeah. There's a galactic empire yeah. that the order is held together by the fact their, their best soldiers are these genetically enhanced superhumans. You know what? I, the angels of death. I like that. I agree. Because it's like, you know, the God Emperor of Mankind kind of describes what the emperor is. It's like yeah. the Pharaoh of Egypt. They believe, even if they're not a god, they believe them to be a god, right? So it's, you, you, you get the idea right away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what about like, all right, let's say I play 40K, you know, but I haven't played Space Marines yet and I haven't really had a chance to dive in yet. So I'm familiar with this little bit, like, and I'm like, I'm drawn to like Xenos. Okay. So mm -hmm. like there would be a legit reason why I wouldn't actually have been interested in Space Marines first over at something else, but I'm still new to it. How would you describe them? How would you make it? How would, how would you want me to also play them as well on the tabletop? Well, they're uh, pretty forgiving. You can kind of put them in any situation and they'll tr pretty much figure their way out of it. With good enough dice rolls. <laughs> so they got some tactical flexibility as well. That's the whole idea. That's like they they jack of all trades. They can kind of excel at everything. Master none in a lot of ways. The yeah. tip of the spear. Yeah. Basically, they go in. They. It's good. You know what I wanted to say next? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The tip of the spear, and they go in, and they 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 basically they they eradicate the enemy, or at repeat. least they 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 form the like the kind of the beach out of the whatever you call that. And then they let everybody else, the millions and billions of humans, take care of maintaining it because there's not enough of them. Yeah. So they're they're there to to precisely go in and eradicate something that 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 a billion humans could not handle on their own. So they send a hundred space marines instead. Yeah. Maybe a billion's a little excessive. That millions and millions of Astra Militarum, which is just your your regular dudes, could not eradicate. But a hundred space marines can take yeah, care like, of. Yeah, uh, like a like a company, a hundred space marines, or heck, ten space marines sometimes. Stop hitting the table. <laughs> I, was like, I talk I with can, my hands. I can, I can see the main in space marines. You're gonna send them the space marines. Sorry, Steve. <laughs> I'm sorry. They were like, their instincts can't be beat. Their reflexes can't be beat. They are the epitome of the warrior. They're like individually, each one is like the greatest in the galaxy at fighting. Essentially, 
There's no better fight well, other than the custodies. I also well, they're just they're just yeah. <laughs> they're the space marine, space yeah. marine though. That's just yeah. like okay, how do we make the superhuman more superhuman? It's like yeah. well, just make them bigger, I guess. Yeah. Because apparently that, that's that's how you solve it. It's just as long as the bigger they are, the better they are. I find them to be frustrating and confusing. <laughs> <laughs> the custodies, that is. <laughs> I thought it was so, so objective. It's like yes, yeah, so. well, the, the, these are my findings. Here, here's a question for like a noob: Why do most people get drawn to space marines though? Well, it's I think it's. Because I don't. Do you say drawn? Well, we know that the majority of sales, or at least 50% of the sales that Games Workshop has is Space Marine, not even Chaos. Okay, so assuming that the marketing arm of GW is like evenly distributed, all factions, so but it's not I, like I we're still only think. ever seeing Space Marines. So yeah. it's like we see it all pretty well evenly. So let's say there was an ultimate, ultimate reality where that happens. Why would we be automatically drawn to Space Marines yeah. as, as humanity? Is that what you're suggesting? Yeah, because we spent a whole episode talking about why I just love Tyranids. So why why space marines? To me, they seem kind of I will also try less interesting in and say that they're very polarizing. Like Matthew was saying, that like yeah. you either hate them. I've known a lot of people that play this game, and they just cannot stand space. I got a theory. Marines. They can't stand people that play space marines. They can't stand the authors <laughs> themselves. But and then there's some people that die hard, live and die by the marine. Like they are just like Imperium through and through. I think they are the knights in painted armor. And the ones the people that don't like them are the people who don't like fantasy. They're they're the so, so they space are, marines are weirdly the most fantasy element of the yeah. game. Yeah, but I love but I love fantasy. Yeah, oh, but I mean, do you mean they, Warhammer they, fantasy? No, like fantasy like, like so, they're. Oh yeah. no, I I love the fantasy the, genre. The, the geeks and nerds are divided up like <laughs> fantasy and sci-fi. No, there's a lot of crossover, but I think there's a lot of like separation. Right, I always saw the space marines as the knights in their armor. Yeah, um, and maybe maybe you love fantasy, so you don't like that. Or maybe you never liked fantasy, so you don't like that. It gives them a reason huh. to hate the that, space marines. That is one hundred percent how I look at that. Space marines to me are I just like, knights. They're just. Do like, I like knights in knights armor? And I guess because they're like in, in, in the fantasy history or in, like miniature war games. You have the peasants and then you have the knights. The space marines were the knights. They were like the the the, the better human, the superhuman. They had better equipment, better armor. Uh, they looked it. You you knew it when he's crossing the field. Weapons like deflect the, off them. Yeah, and, yeah. They they're trained their whole lives to be a warrior. Right there, that's how I always saw it. Yeah, that's got that. Well, uh, no, I'm I'm trying to figure out how I feel about, and I think you're right because how I feel about Space Marines is exactly how I feel about knights and armor, which is that I am indifferent to them. Mm. That the space, mm. I don't hate Space Marines. I just don't find them interesting. In fact, I find the regular Imperial Guard more interesting. Have because, a bigger struggle, that's for sure. <laughs> because well, because they're they're relatable, right? And so I would I I'm more interested in that. But and when I look back in fantasy, like you're right, you're right. When I when I think about the things that I enjoy the most, it's it's not the the shiny knights, right? It's not the knights in shining armor. Sorry, it's it's although they're interesting, but it's I'm indifferent to them, and I'm indifferent to space marines. So yeah, you might be onto something there. Yeah. It's Vikings with axes. Yes, those are that's the way more those are the best ones. Those are the space wolves. It, exactly. Yeah. But there's yes. a flavor of space marine for everybody. So it's yeah. the same that if you look at space marines, because like I touched on it earlier, there's it's easier to get into space marines because the models are more available. Yep. Because starter sets and stuff. But there's also a flavor of space marine for anything you want. Correct. Because like nobody plays like just generic space marines. Yep. So like space favorite, marines yeah. have a lot of um, a Greek imagery, a lot of Roman imagery maybe Viking imagery. And then there's a bunch of other ones all over the place. So it's easy that if you're into any kind of nerd stuff, you can come in and you can find a space Marine that kind of has the flavor of something of some other thing yeah. that you're interested in. You could draw your parallels. Like the dark angels to me are like your traditional kind of like Gothic knight, And then ultramarines are very Greek inspired yep. or Roman. Roman inspired, whichever one you prefer, like a hoplite or like a legionnaire. Yeah. But if you uh, want your sneaky special forces marines, you got yeah. Raven Guard. And then you have your like more modern spe yeah. spec ops, black ops kind of guy. Raven Guard are perfect for that. Uh, then uh, your space wolves are more your Scandinavian kind of like super tall warrior. Just each one is individual. Like yeah. And then I think uh, you got the chaos side, which just lets you explore a whole correct. other. That's why chaos is amazing. It's so much more flavorful than I look at them with bias. <laughs> it's true though. It's true. Are they not way better, Steve? They're just parallels. I look at them as parallels. They're the same. But yeah. okay, but they're the same. I, but there's so much. Fl okay, it's like a oh, knight. Uh, who, what's more interesting to you? A brand new shiny knight, or a dirty, like beat up, bloody knight. The like, uh, brand new shiny knight who's indoctrinated to fight, fight for the emperor. Uh, then he leaves and becomes a renegade. Uh, maybe dabbles in chaos, but rejects it and tries to regain his honor. Who's that? You mean uh, the fallen? There's, there's, uh no, but but there are several characters over the, across the novels which you could say is that in some yeah. way, from form or another. 
Which well, that, that answers my question, though. I, I, I did ask the question of what draws people to it. Now I see it. I, I see it. I'm not, I'm, I'm not into it. Like, yeah. I'll, I'll talk about Space Marines all day long, too, because I, I find that the 40K lore is interesting. I'm talking about into wanting to collect them and play them on the table, not read about them in lore. I think that's there's plenty I, of good stories about them in the lore. That's why most people, I assume, were playing them on the tabletop, too, and, and pick their specific legions or chapters based on that. And, like, what they, they're, they're, they're I guess they're, like... Space Wolves, Blood Angels. Like yeah. Yeah, Space Wolves and Blood Angels, man. I don't know what the like. See, same. They're the same. My it's a red, ra- well. it's, the, it's a black rage, red thirst, man. Like yeah. it's that. That's the one where it's like you, you can identify with like just losing control. Yeah. Sometimes, right? But they're like this peerless warrior, and like their form is great and all this, but then they just like lose it. Right? All the other yeah. chapters, it's the vampire kind of vibe. The vamp. It's like like to me, it's like a like the the midnight aristocracy kind of thing for the Blood Angels, where they're all like very prim proper trained disciplined yeah, that really- part i ignore like that part i ignore and like the, but I, then you go to the feral aspect of yeah. the black rage side yeah like they're hungry they're trapped they're like uh yeah yeah exactly well you got yeah. these these super noble yeah. space marines like the the that kind of stand a, a little bit above everybody else but there's the tragedy of the the, the red thirst the black rage yeah. Yeah. the most important lore all the other chapters look up to the ultramarines ah thank you mr ward <laughs> i you, no, <laughs> no they, that's they, that's they, they, the ultramarines annoy me because of that, I'm not. I'm not saying I agree this disagree. I'm just pointing out, kid. A lot of people dislike the Ultramarines nah, for that nah. old statement. They are I the don't worst know why one. You do that. <laughs> they're just they're they're like they're they're the Roman, the Greek city states. They're the they're the politicians. They're the look at Matt Ward said kind of like disciplined soldiers, right? <laughs> yeah, they are the Cotex Estates. We don't make any error in our uh, the deliberation of the word. Cool. They're yeah, they're the, the uh, they're the, the unactually guys, guys, right? right? Uh, we are the unactually. Actually, on page forty-five of the Codex Estates, it says that you should not jump from orbit Starting without having pre without having previously attempted every other method before I, third. I did. It's like a whole computer game based around that um actually guy falling around your main character. You just want to pop him in the head <laughs> with a bolter. This this has devolved very quickly. Uh, and th- it's, there was a specific uh, mockery of my friend Gaz. No one else, by the way. Uh, that's what that is. That that that's why I, I don't like that way of Codex Astartes and yeah. Ultramarines. I real those specifically. Like if there's a legion where I just don't like the most, it's the one. It's the it's the rules as written. <laughs> it's the it's the rules it's the it's the lawyer I, it's the uh no no thank you very I much need to point out that since Gilliman came back in what edition was it eighth it was eighth technically Ten, and end no, of seventh end of seventh end, end of seventh, seventh. since, yeah. since Gilliman has come yeah. back in the lore um the blood angels the dark angels um the space wolves have all been far more codas compliant than they have been in the past oh heck yeah they have been. <laughs> The only ones who aren't really are the Black Templar. Didn't he Hard kind of rein them in? Yeah, yeah, I know they're very much. Didn't he rewrite the Codex though after he came back? Wasn't that the points that he showed up and he's like, "Oh man, this book didn't work." The guy rewrote yeah. the clock. When okay, he came back. Yeah. all right. So yeah, now yeah. this is New Hammer. So what is the Codex Astartes? Ah, okay. Okay. Well, so what is that? Generally, it's like he he started writing it before the heresy popped off. Yeah. I think it was like he being Gilliman. Sorry. He and being Gilliman. Gilliman, Gilliman. Is, Gilliman. Oh, okay. Yes. The it, Primarch of the Ultimate. In 20 yeah. seconds, describe Gilliman, Primarch, and then bring that down to Codex Astartes. Okay, well, he is the Primarch of the Ultramarines. He's like the, the father of the Ultramarines. Each chapter has their own father figure, and he is theirs. I find Each him... Primarch created by the Emperor as like the proto-Space Marine. Correct. Kind yeah. Of. Like a, like a, and then they're... No, I know, I know, I know, I know. Not completely right. But as like the... What does proto mean? Like the the first, but that's not totally concept, true. Concept. Yeah. The idea is that each of those primarchs would be like the best of the best of the best. What yeah. happened in three seconds? I know. And that, <laughs> and sorry, and sorry. that their DNA, their genes would be time. used to create entire legions. So you know, okay, he puts yeah. all of his best efforts into these progenitor of a 18, race, essentially, right? So gene, 20. gene spliced race, right? Superhumans. The shortest version of it, and then you expand upon it, is after the heresy. Even though you start working on it before that, after the heresy, uh, the legions were decided they were too powerful, causing the yes. moth across the galaxy. So Gilman wrote, um, well, split up the legions into chapters and wrote up the Codex Astartes, a way to operate, way to function that would limit their overall strength, strength in, yeah. in, individually, amongst, individually, so that they could just not rebel and cause havoc across the galaxy. Yeah, because at most than a thousand could rebel, and there's Correct. plenty yeah. more that could That's, take them out. For anyone, for anyone unaware, so the Codex Astartes, one second, is, is like a makeup of how to organize a chapter of a thousand Marines of how many of uh, tactical marines? What uh, how many detachments? Like um, 
the skill detachment, your assault detachments, your yeah. your, your tactics of how to go to battle. Yeah, all it's stuff. a military rule book. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, all right. So, I I'm, I'm going to do something. I'll describe it. Tell me if it's good, okay? Cuz this is going to be like a simple explanation and the one that the only one that I know how to do. So, God, Emperor of Mankind had 20 kids. And he gene spliced their, uh, his like greatest traits went into each of the 20 uh, kids. Two of them are unknown. The other 18, uh, uh, if you think of rage, you think of Angron. If you think of like uh, uh, stoicism, you think of uh, Gilliman and so forth, right? Each one represents one major trait. Yeah. And so it's like, all right, now we're going to make a whole bunch of tribes. Each one has their own tribe and they have their own world. That are just parallels in themselves. And then those are space yeah. marines. And that's why we have so many different legions. Yeah. And then the Codex of Sardis was written by Gilliman, who was the one who was the most tactically prowess. Ah, uh, he was like the statesman. He was, he was the boring. statesman. He, he was, was the politician. He was the politician. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then he made the military rule book where all other space marine legions would follow. Yep. And then that's it. Yep. Yeah. That, in a nutshell, that's basically it. But he was also the second emperor of the Empire of See, now, now you're just now you're just really confusing it. Was, uh, what no, it mean? was Sanguinius. The appointment of Sanguinius. Oh, it's right. Yeah. Okay. Now, now it's too deep. Now, now I don't know. I'm lost. Like, I, I don't know what you're talking about anymore. The sec the don't worry about the heresy it. stuff. It's like, yeah. Even saying it's heresy. So, like, heresy if I was brand new, what is heresy? It's the... Other than the word heresy, there's a whole time period, right? That's where the Codex of Starting was formed. Uh, yeah, there's a little scuffle. Yeah, there was, there was a yeah. there was a moon misunderstanding. What was it? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Ten thousand years before the present day of Warhammer 40k, when the Emperor created his eighteen legions of space marines to conquer the galaxy, once they got bored, <laughs> yep, half of them fell to chaos. Yep, and no. that started the hair. I know, I know. No. This, is, this is the no. layman's version. This is, works for me. Correct works. him in the this comments. Is, correct him in the comments. Yeah, you can correct me. <laughs> it's all Lorgar's fault. Uh, <laughs> Erebus. Erebus. Sorry, Erebus. Yeah. Erebus. Um, Corfair. And uh, so either way, it ended up play, that I don't like him. Half the legions went to chaos, kind of, and half the legions didn't go to chaos, kind of. Correct him in the comments. And there was a civil war. <laughs> it's a simple civil war. Galactic civil war. Simple galactic civil war. Simple. Between nine legions who stayed loyal, kind of, and to nine loyal <laughs> legions who stay, who fell to chaos, kind of. You know, at the and that's it. That's, that's good. That's, really that's it. actually a really that's, that's simple. That's, Horus started the heresy. That's not my really. Sentences. Horus, Horus was the was the was the face of the heresy, and so he got he he got unfortunately labeled. It, was, it should be called the Erebus heresy, not the Horus heresy, because Horus was just like he was just dragged along for the ride and he didn't realize it. And he was the he was tricked. He, he was the most tactically prowess. Uh, he, he was, was he was well, the one who he, he united a whole bunch of the other brothers who didn't know how to do it. And he was very good at it. Read read the first <laughs> Horus heresy novel. And you will like Horace. Yes, you could know sure. he is. Yeah. He's a good dude. Yeah, yeah agreed. That he, first book a thousand times and never believe he would do what he, he does. His yeah. fall we, we, is a tragic one. It's not his heresy. It is somebody else. We will else's. dedicate episodes to the heresy because there's so much here. We're kind of doing yeah. it now. Yeah, we're kind of doing it. So <laughs> no, I'm just. I'm just that's that, 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 a sum up. Yeah. Let me. Yeah. No time. Like sum up. It's just that. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Or Horace. I like that dude. He's got a bad rap. Because yeah. he got tricked. He was the best of them. He was like, but it's like know. Anakin all over again. It's like, ah, here's right. your false future. Now follow the dark side so you don't go There's to the false future. There's gonna be so many comments, and that's no, why it's wonderful. No. Right? Because again, this right. is for new parents. Here, here's the challenge, okay? In the comments below, here's the challenge: be as concise as you can. <laughs> and here's the rule: don't use ChatGPT. Out of your brain, be as concise and describe two things: the heresy. And the Codex Asterides, and make the link. That's it's tough. That, that's a tough one, right? Because there's so he's much cheating. to leave out. He's apparently cheating. Is Matt using chat GPT? He's 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, fun little fact. I was, I was curious about it. So, like, the Horus Heresy culminates in one final conflict in our solar system the Solar War and the Siege of Terra. So not everybody knows as the horse heresy. Some know it as the moon wolf misunderstanding. The moon, someone understands the moon wolf misunderstanding. Yeah. Uh, so the I, I believe it includes the solar war, but it might just be the siege of Terra itself. Like the entire conflict around Terra was 250 billion lives lost in that conflict. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Over that number, sorry. That's like the minimum speculation. All right. Would you like to know what ChatGPT's answer is? Hit him. But the the fact that you want to read it. Makes me want to say, no, nah, no one wants to know I, that. I, 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 it's up to you. I didn't write it. I want, 
That's fair. There. That, that's fair. Okay, yeah. What 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 does Chad say? I actually explain it as if it's a six year old talking to another six year old. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so Warhammer so Space Marines are like super strong and brave soldiers who wear really big tough armor that looks like robot suits. They travel across space in huge ships to fight scary monsters and bad guys to protect their home. They carry big guns and swords and are like heroes in a big space adventure. Yep. That is uh, that, amazing. That's pretty good. That, what? That's really good. In fact, you don't need any of us. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why oh, we're sitting here talking about stuff. I did it wrong. Space Marines are like, no. like super strong <laughs> and brave soldiers who wear really big, tough armor. I'll stop there. Yeah. It's <laughs> a good place to stop. This is a razor worm. It's a very large model. And uh, this is a sponsored segment. We are self-sponsoring this video. Rightfully so, because this is the best way that you guys can support us if you wish to do so. There's a link provided in the description for the GameFound campaign for Ravage Star, the miniature tabletop war game, which is the game that we are developing. Not only do we have a range of miniatures for it, we have our own rules that we are developing. And Scary is also here to actually tell you a little bit about it because he happens to be here at the bunker right now. Ravage Star is awesome. You should check it out. And I love these models. They're amazing. And I like the game and it's fun. Now back to the other segment. Where Steve gets to be not in control of the camera because he's sticking out his tongue constantly. But we are going to be playing a game today, and that is going to be called Eldritch Elocution. And this one is going to be helmed by Matt. And it's, uh, you know, basically you got to say a word, but there's a list of words you can't use to describe it. So we've played a similar game in the past. Yeah. Yeah, it's very taboo to use all the words below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. please don't sue us. Yeah, but it's not taboo. We're not. <laughs> we love your game, so you know. We're not playing taboo. We're not playing taboo. Yeah, we love you, taboo. If you want to sponsor the segment, you can. So, what are the rules for not taboo? So, the rules for <laughs> Eldritch Elocution. That's the name of the game, Eldritch Elocution. That's good name. It's good name. It's good wording. Well, you don't have to worry about that. Okay. So it's okay. it, it means the game. It is this. This is it. Ab ab so uh, essentially, we're going to we're not going to do this in teams. Typically, you play this type of games in teams, but I have I found an ingenious way not to and to let everybody participate every time. Ingenious, oh. that's right, ingenious. And so essentially, I'm going to give us a little slip of paper now to the audience. It's going to pop up on the screen, and Steve's not going to look at it because he's participating, right? Somehow. Oh, interesting. How do I not look at that? <laughs> that's what, what I was saying before, and but we were all it was like we have to have it on the screen, and I'm like, well, then Steve will see it. And actually, you guys will see it because it's going to be big letters. I won't look over there. It's like no, like, no, yeah, won't look over there. Like, okay, tell you what, I'll look at you the whole time. I'm eye contact. Okay, I, I hold on. Give me thirty. No, 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 wait. I, I need that to yeah. switch the things. See, like, how can you not read that now that it's big? I can't see anything. Well, now you can't because you moved the monitor. Okay. And what about Jeez. you, Steve? What are you going to do? What are you going to do, Steve? You know what? If you want to give me like thirty seconds, I can create a, 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 a solution. Yeah. It's called post-it note on the monitor. Yeah, just take a post-it note. So I'll I'll keep explaining to you. Do you have any post-it notes? I don't have any post-it notes. <laughs> you got some tape right there. Oh, there will work. Over yeah. Okay. So while Steve figures out how to cover his screen so that he does not see the answers, essentially the way the game of Taboo works, or Eldritch Elocution, is that I give a person a slip of paper, and uh, you're not going to be able to see this on the camera. See that slip of paper? And at the top of the paper, it tells them the thing they're trying to explain to everybody else. And then underneath that, it has a bunch of words they're not allowed to use when explaining. Okay. If they say any of those words, they, they lose. They get, ant. all right? Now, everybody's trying to guess. So whoever guesses gets the point, but mm. so does the person who is explaining. So you want to try to explain it in such a way that they get it, and you want to be the person to guess it. And so if Luke is doing it and Dave guesses it, they both get a point. And then when Josh does it, if Dave gets it again, well, now Dave has two points because he's guessing them really well. But Josh only has one point. So it's like it's a combination of being able to explain well and being able to figure out what it is that we're explaining. But so am I only doing, am I only giving a guess to one person or to everyone? Well, I'm, every, each person is going to have a chance to try to explain the thing. Okay, so they just simply need to explain it, period. And as long as one other person gets it, they get a point. Right, within yeah. the time allocated. Okay. And so I have a super sophisticated time method. <laughs> what about what about the uh, the on the, the I guess it would be an honor system. Like obviously, don't use the not words you can. No, I'll, I know what they are because I'm going to hand them to you. Oh, you already know. So I know. Oh, so you're I, not the, you're not part. I'm you're, not playing. You're being the I'm mediator. The judge. I see that because usually the I enemy am the judge. team is the mediator. He also made up the all, all the stuff. So he yeah, but that's right. fine because oh, there's so true. many of them. That I'll forget which one's which. So for example, I'll give you an example. This one is a rhino because it's all space marine related. I'm not allowed to use the word transport, vehicle, armored, space marine, or troops. Now, you're never allowed to use the word space marine. Every single one of them says space marine. Yeah. So transport, vehicle, armored, space marine, troops. So how would I describe you that? Say like African animal, horn. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, so yeah. That, that's 
that that's one way to do it. Yeah. Or I might be like the thing that these uh, dudes and their power armor ride th- inside of. I think you're only allowed to say like one word though. Not I don't know if you're allowed to describe it. What? I think it's supposed to be one words, single words. But you're you can't not tell the guy no, no, who no, made he, up the rules for his own game. Are you allowed to like? Are? Oh, I thought I always. No, thought, you just you just yeah, you just try to describe it without oh, using those words. Oh, okay. I always thought you I'm had. Like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, Luca? I thought that's how not taboo worked. <laughs> well, this isn't not this isn't not taboo. This is Eldritch wrong, elocution, and I am the rules master. So what I say is rules as written and intended. Let's play. Let's play. I'm okay. Ready. So so yeah. So that's that, that's the challenge, right? And so some of them will be easy. Some of them will be harder. I cheated myself by saying African animal. It's two words. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and and like that doesn't narrow it down. By the yeah. way, I'm, animal. Second clue. Are we, are we ready, Steve? Yeah. Have you sufficiently covered the screen? Oh, you I, covered it for us, too. Perfect. Yeah, I can't see nothing. You guys can't see nothing. Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. And then I'm just going to turn my computer slightly so Luca can't see what I write because I'm going to type the thing that shows up on the screen. So, Luca, you can go first because you're right next to me. So I'm going to look at the thing. <laughs> All right. And then you're going to look at it. And I'll let you start the time when I tell you to go. I'm going to let the audience see what it is. And uh, go. Wow. Okay. Uh... Death. Nope. Uh, uh, <laughs> Something large. large. Animals. Knights. Taliban. Yep. Hey! <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm going to pause the timer because you can keep Somebody going. check to see if you can see over there. <laughs> Don't they look? <laughs> really... Come on, that's obvious. Large animals, knights. Dave, can you throw me that pen, please? Was not I almost said, I almost said death world. way faster. Than... Was... <laughs> like, no, it's... There's a pen next, next to you on your little table. It might be underneath your little clacker. I should have been prepared. I didn't have a pen. Oh, here. Is there no pen? I got it. Here. You got it. Jeez. I was ready. From over right there. at me. So, Dave, hold on. I should have had this ready. We're very, we're very organized it's for okay. this. You so guys Luca, love this. We got hey, it's Josh a new series. It's, and that, that, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's our reason. excuse. Definitely so that's a point for Luca and Steve. Back. All right. So, here's your next one. And then I just got to. You know what? This I'll isn't the game show. To be fair, the game show is the game show, and that's its own thing. These are segments in the lore show, which isn't a game show. Oh, come on. How come I keep throwing this? Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Why is it going to be hard? All right. <laughs> Take a look. Take a look, and I'll start your time again. There's the answer. Go. Okay. This is oh, unwieldy. Uh, Power fist. Hey, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Let's just keep this going. Let's keep this going. Oh, wow. Oh, definitely. Okay, give me a second to write that one in. Oh, I got this easy. Watch, no problem. Okay, go. Forest walking. Well, Lionel Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Are they just all the inside jokes? <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> it's, it's There's only one ball. I'm gonna be so bad at this. I'm gonna be so disappointed. Go ahead, weird. pick up yours. Yeah, Lucan seems to be the, the the leader of this one. So hold on. The only thing that slowed me down is writing them in. Okay, go. Doctor. Who? Strange. Strange. <laughs> <laughs> strange. <laughs> strange. <laughs> Dead Joe Space Free Doctor Who. <laughs> I was gonna say Doctor. Bad at job. <laughs> Doctor. I got, I got it right. I got it. He's a oh, pharmacist. Oh my goodness. All right. Pick that one up. Oh, wait. This one? Yeah. Did you guys see it? And go. Uh, uh, four up save. Uh, scout. scout. <laughs> good enough. Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> scout squad. So I'll give that to Definitely both Dr. Steve Strange. and Josh. <laughs> Dave, you're you're like in here. Sorry, sorry. Hey man, no, this is just, like now it'd be hard even if you gave me like a like a twenty second head start to even think about it. Hey, workshops, Doctor Strange. I'm... Here we go. Uh, two strikes, turn one. Uh, uh, drop pod. Yep. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Almost done your time. Oh. I know you're having fun, right? This is how I'm gonna get all my points. Yeah. This this is uh <laughs> d- definitely way too easy, man. You gotta make them harder. <laughs> I think of, I'm trying to think of one word ways to do it. Oh, geez. hold on! Don't say anything. And go. Forge world. Uh, Mastodon. Astraeus. Um. Uh. Charybdis. Plastic when. Uh. Spartan. Uh. Land Raider. Da, 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 time. Dang. Thunderhawk. Thunderhawk. Okay, that's mm. Lucas' turn. Oh, did you say plastic when? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That should have got it actually. Plastic. All right, all right, all right. So let's let's go to Josh. So I'm gonna pass the thing down. Oh, I'm so bad at this part. All right. So I, I'm, I'm getting, you won't be the worst. You will not be the worst. All right, go. Chainsword. Assault Marine. 
Yeah. <laughs> so many things have changed story. Yeah. Josh, you say, that one's like, fast. There's less than a second. The goal of the game is you start memory. Don't throw, look at it. Just pass it. You, th you throw off words to take it the right one, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. First, of course. Yeah. All right. Go. Sneaky. Oh, uh, scout. Uh, Reaper. Infiltrator. In infiltr infiltrator. 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 Uh, Incurse. All of the Eldar. That's a. Uh, Incursor. Um, <laughs> Phobos. Uh, Recon. Hobos? Phobos. Josh, your time's oh, going. You need to start Phobos. Start Sergeant Tellian. Um, I'm, I can't think of. Dark Angels are sneaky. Legion. Dark Legion. Angels are sneaky. Raven Guard. Yes. There we go. Yes. Legion. I couldn't say chapter, so. Yeah. Like, I was going to uh, say Gits. Uh, sneaky Gits. Okay, you said Raven Guard? I thought so, down. but maybe not. Pass it down. Hold on. Gotta get on the screen. Gits. 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 Go. It, it, orcs. Gets hot. Pistol. He got it. He got it. He got it. It's who got, I don't know who got, who who got, got it. Hey, we all got that. Thank you very I'm much. I'm going to give you all a point. We all, yes, I think we all, all got it. We all got it. I'm on the board. I'm also going to point. Josh also gets a point. Yeah, I give you a point. <laughs> You're going to point every time they get it. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh. Don't say anything yet. Go. Boring. Traitor. Oh, Dark, Dark Angel! Angel. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give that to both. It's Lucas okay, Steve. I was laughing! <laughs> you laughed first. I did yeah. too a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew where you were. Pass it down. <laughs> Go. Um. Ultra Marines. Close combat. Terminator. Corpus Deckers! Uh, Cell Terminator. Terminator. Thunder Hammer. Weapon. There you go. Yep. <laughs> Time is up. Okay. What was it? What was Thunderhammer. Thunder Thunderhammer. Thunder oh. Okay, so the current score is uh, Luca at the lead with 11, Josh with 9, because he did pretty well, but nice. that's always going to be the case for the people who went first. Steve at 5 and Dave at 1. <laughs> hey, we're on the board. We're on the board. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when you roll, it's when you roll a 1, right? right? So it just makes sense. Pass it down to Dave. Remember, don't look at it. Dave, I'll tell you when to go. Go. Tank. Treasure. Uh... The Razorback, Air, Thunderhawk. Oh, uh, nope. That air, was right tank? Uh, Storm Raven, Missile, Anti Oh, Tank Whirlwind. Hunter. Yes. There you go. Oh, nice. Whirlwind, Whirlwind was the answer. That's Josh. Oh, not Steve. I'll yeah. take it. Okay, pass it down. Move it. Keep it moving. Efficiency. Hold on. Don't yeah. start until I say go. Go. I need a head start. Trust me. Uh, uh, the thing that blocks everything. Storm Shield. Close combat. There you go. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Go, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Can, Can you see? Oh, see flyers, Luca. What's that? Keep flyers. 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 <laughs> flyers. Flyers. Ready? Yeah. Go. Uh, religious, black and white. Black Templar. Uh, one dude. Chaplin. Yes. Oh, That's nice. Josh. That's okay. uh, Hey, we're doing well, Josh. Yeah, we're doing well. Oh, oh, yeah. a hard one. Pass it down. <laughs> I love oh, it. This is the only way I'm going to get points, but give the clues. <laughs> okay. Ready? Go. Uh, one of the new Primaris. Yes, and it's one that's really the opposite of calm. Aggressor. Yes. Oh. Okay, got hmm. it. That's Luca. I like that. Yeah. Okay. That's it down. By the time he gets it, he's he's typed it in. I love it. Okay. Go. Uh, oh, wrong side. Oh. My non foot that's made out of steel. Iron hands. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we've, weirdly enough we've all spent too much time around each other yeah. this game is showing me okay pass it down go uh the opposite of uh dark or black light and when you white scores yes awesome that's a point for steve <laughs> wow that just goes to show how much we think warhammer these? all day long <laughs> too much warhammer you never have to watch Go. Uh, one of the uh, one of the twenty uh, that no one cares about because mm -hmm. he's not here. Per a rogue thorn. Huh? Pure fist. Uh, it's a. Uh, oh, mm. Ferris Manus. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Yes. Good guess. Okay. Okay. I, I get how you got. You get. You get how. Yeah. Right. And that's obviously okay, people care, down. but I mean, no one brings them on the tabletop. That's what I meant. Uh, no, I uh, makes sense. Okay. All right. Go. <laughs> Yes, I am. Uh, Born. Ragnar. Space, Space Wolves. Wolves. Yes. 
Oh, I think Steve Josh, did you heard. say that too? I, we all shouted that out. Okay. Right, everybody <laughs> gets the point last. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Okay, your time is just about out, so I doubt you're going to be able to do this last one, but I'll pass it down anyways. Hey, that's a that's a challenge to Monolith. of chaos. Monolith. Faint brains only. <laughs> oh. Okay. Go. Big thing that uh, Land Raider. Yes. Oh, you got it. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. The last totally the Land Raider. Totally the Land Raider. last grain went out as he yelled Land Raider. I was about to say time. I was literally about to say time. All right, Dave. Dave. Now you caught yourself up pretty well. Luke is still in the lead with 15. Josh at 14. Dave at 10. Oh. And Steve only at six. But once again, Steve hasn't done his yeah, yet. That's right. So oh. you're saying if I just terribly narrate this, like Luca just wins. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. Possible. Yeah, you can throw it to Luca. So uh, I might still be able to figure out what you're not talking about, though. <laughs> Josh reads my mind, so. So this one's a little tougher because he's all the way over there, <laughs> and I've got to write things down. Uh, sniper. <laughs> <laughs> give me, give me a second to just prep. Oh god, you guys keep talking. Oh, you're gonna get a few of them going. You could do, give him like three in a row or something. No, I'm giving them all of them, but I'm gonna stack them so they're in the right order. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, smart. smart. He's just gonna rattle them That's off. Smart. I'll actually have the. The biggest advantage of so movie. i wasn't paying attention to the rules i'm going to assume on the paper i'm going to get this the thing i got to get them to say and then there's a list of things that you say. can't gotcha. yeah there's like four or five words you can't don't say. use a single word that you're reading yeah. if i lose a point every time i say one of those words no you just you just can't do you just it. can't you use it anymore the next invalidates the clue the next well yeah. i'm gonna be the guy he's the who just word. reads the top <laughs> reads the answer <laughs> off five times <laughs> almost ready this is this is a fun one i like this game oh i've always liked uh uh Eldritch Elocution. Hey, I got it. I've always yeah, yeah, I got it because I was reading it from the card and I barely got it. <laughs> <laughs> I used to play this a lot back, uh, not uh, different categories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. Not it was very satisfying that. to give very efficient clues. <laughs> big okay, land raider. Big. <laughs> <laughs> it's only big. It's a very efficient clue. Okay, I think I give you enough. So, Steve, it'll be very important that you do not. Yep, I got your order. Buddy. Otherwise, what's on the screen will not match. Luca, please yeah. trip Matt so all the things go everywhere. Oh, wait, this is the top one. That's the top one. <laughs> if I take this off, I'm going to see the next words. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This is good. I love how it's <laughs> happening in real time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and I'll tell you. And I'll tell you when to go. Yeah. Let it. Let it finish. Because I'm going to be popping them on the screen. <laughs> I'll do my best to keep up with you. And because I also have to write down who gets the points, that's the fun part. Like how, okay, are we ready? We're ready. We're ready. All right, Go. Steve. So not the long things, but give you the big boom. Devastators. Yep. Mm. Okay. Oh, good. Hold on, I'm gonna pause the timer so I have time to that was a good clue. award points. Well, Luca, but I had to think. I about need it. a new line for Luca. I've run out of space for his points. And the pen dies. More points. Ah, eh. The pen's death. It's not dead. It's just right it's on the, the beginning. That, end, you know what? It's yeah. like the more clever the more I think about it. Not the long fangs, but they give you the big boom. I, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. At first, I'm like, long fangs. I'm like, nope, definitely not long fangs. Obviously not. Hey, did. Oh, he already said it. Ah. Yep. Hey, that's was, a good answer. A <laughs> this line. is why it's a good yeah. answer. Yeah. Okay, go. This is going to be unfair to Dave, but the reason everybody's stopping Armored Ceremony. Melt. Melta? Gun? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Melta gun is the answer? Yeah. <laughs> Mel yeah, because that what edition is that? That's heresy. That's heresy. Oh, it's heresy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, go. When he met the emperor, he punched him in the face. Russ. Yep. Nice. Nice is the right answer, nice. I think, there. Nice. Yeah. Okay. He would. Hold on. I forgot about that. That's awesome. Go. The type of model that came in the 8th edition box set that everybody was upset that wasn't uh, regular guys. Primary processor? Yeah, okay. Oh, just the primary. Nice. In general. Did we all get that? Yeah, well, mm, sure. All right. Yeah, he's the on. game master. He said we all get it. Go. All right. So if one of the 18 were loved by the most. Blood how Angels. long with who, who? Blood Angels? Blood, oh, Sanguinius? Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Primarch who was loved the most. <laughs> yeah. Pr Pr Sanguinius was the beloved one. The Valentine's Day Primarch? Yeah. Go. There are no canines on this planet. Spenders. Ah, I think you got it. It's the, you were saying it first. Luca and Josh yeah. and Steve, of course. Not Dave. Not no, Dave. No, no, no. That's, that's that's we can assume I will get no more. You've done really good. Go. So Matt Ward says everybody looks up to this daddy. Gilman, Gilman. Oh, Gilman. Oh, Gilman. Gilman. 
They got a point. Only oh, because of the previous conversation. Oh. I remember. Awarding five remember. points for that one because it's Gilliman and he's so awesome. That wasn't, that wasn't Gilliman, though. Five that was points. Marnius Kelgar. It's Marnius Kelgar. It doesn't matter. The daddy. Oh, yeah, the, daddy. the daddy. But the, yeah. the question, the, yeah. he got him to say it. I, I, right I, I got him by getting it wrong. It's five points for Dave. All right. And go. He is definitely the most boring of them all. Wait, Lionel Gilman? Johnson? No, Per Rabo. Oh, Rogel Dorn. 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 Rogel Dorn. Yep. Oh, uh, Rogel Dorn. he's the best. Oh, man. Chapter Master Valric has different things to say about that, man. <laughs> so who okay. said it? He's I didn't catch it. that. Me. All right, he made me say it, though, and I'm up. sad. <laughs> all right, all right. That was it. No, you're oh, out of time. You're out of time. There was, there was one more. It was Titan. Yeah. Oh, did it get put on the bottom? It yeah. must have got mixed up by accident. What's my score? Final okay, score. so final score. Oh, final score, yeah. With a healthy 15 points, we have Dave. Nice. And then with also a healthy 15 points tied with Dave is Steve. Beautiful. Yes. Yes. And then between Luca and Josh, one of them got uh, 20 points. The other one got 18. Wow. Luca got 20. Boom. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's actually, that's, that's, that's good. Yeah. Ding, yeah. ding, 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 ding. Big winner. Number one. Number one, the best. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like that's for me, it was a tie between like the all three. Convenience store, number one, the but best. number one, the best food <laughs> e, e store. Was, or, uh, <laughs> it's my it was my buddy Kenny's uh, Twitch name. Number one, the best. <laughs> number one, the best. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Eldrick Elocution. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Maelstrom of Lore. If you enjoy this show, check it out in the vault. It shows your support for it, and it'll mean we'll make even more. And also leave your suggestions below as to what you think we should cover in the upcoming episodes. Thank you very much, and happy wargaming, folks. Deep dive with us as we present segments such as Noob Hammer, if you're brand new to the Warhammer universe. Explain it to me in 30 seconds, like I've never heard of it before ever, that I could actually understand it after 30 seconds. I'm just a normal dude in a gaming store. Oh, what's that? And Lorehammer, where we theorize the fate of the numerous factions within the 40K universe. Lorehammer is more about us coming up with our own ideas too, right? Yeah. So we, we gotta, we, when we answer the question, who's their biggest enemy, that's our opinion. True. But I would hands down say it's Oh, I would agree. It's the orcs. So why? Yeah. We also have fun playing games. So much fun! Yeah. Put it up. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh, okay. We, did, we, did, we did shuffle. No. Did we not, no. <laughs> not shuffle. Is it orc again? Yes. 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 And occasionally compare other IPs against Warhammer and epic galactic showdowns. But I mean, if you can deflect a blaster around, which is like, should be traveling closer to the speed of light, even though I know it doesn't do that in the film. Then you can you can you can put your lightsaber up in time to hit the bolter round. Okay, so thanks again for tuning in, folks. I'm Mini Wargamer Dave, and you're in the Maelstrom of Lore.